The history books may have softened the edges of these hardened criminals, but we'll tell you the unvarnished truth about the eight most bloodthirsty pirates in history. Be warned, these stories are not for the faint of heart, as these eight vicious villains lend a new meaning to the phrase yo ho ho and a bucket of blood. Number 8. Edward Teach Coming in at number 8 is Edward Teach. You might not have heard the name Edward Teach, but we'd be willing to bet that you're familiar with his nickname, Blackbeard. This swashbuckling sadist lorded over the Queen Anne's revenge, and was known to have quite the collection of knives and swords on his craft, the better which to chop off his enemies' heads and limbs. Blackbeard's flair for the dramatic manifested itself in some truly inspired hairstyle choices. He famously lit smoking fuses behind his big bushy beard to give enemies the impression that he was an otherworldly demon come to wreak havoc on their souls. This creative twist makes Blackbeard one of the most artistic pirates on this list, but didn't save him from his ultimate fate – beheading. Number 7. Zheng Yi Sao. Our pick for number 7 is Zheng Yi Sao, one of the fiercest females to ever sail the high seas. Zheng Yi Sao was famous for nailing the feet of her rivals to their ships and beating them to death, unless they pledged loyalty to her. Talk about some seriously effective recruiting tactics. Since Zheng Yi Sao literally took no prisoners, her fleet was 1500 strong in its heyday and she easily bested any challenger that came her way, leaving her a fat load of booty to retire off of. Unlike most of the pirates on this list, Zheng Yi Sao didn't meet a bloody end, but quit her career as slaughterous mistress of the high seas at 35, and lived comfortably off her loot for the rest of her years. Number 6. Stephen Decatur What happens when a navy man with a major grudge goes rogue? At number 6, Stephen Decatur isn't your typical pirate, but this good boy turned bad decided to carry out some spectacular sea raids, all in the name of Merka. When pirates captured the USS Philadelphia, Decatur decimated their ship in one of the bloodiest sieges in maritime history. What's more, after he dispatched of the crew, he set the craft ablaze as a stern warning to other pirates. Does Decatur belong on this list? We'll leave it up to you to decide, as one man's freedom fighter is another man's bloodthirsty pirate. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below, and hit the bell to get notified of future releases, such as this one. Number 5. Francois Lelonis Our number 5 pick proves that, that nobody holds a grudge like a pirate. Francois Lelonis despised the Spanish with every fibre of his being, and he took every opportunity to express it in gory and horrifying ways. Good old Frankie was so insanely barbaric that he once ate the still beating heart of a Spanish captain before slaughtering everyone else on board. Francois Lelonis was a connoisseur of torture and a master of sending messages by allowing one terrified Spaniard to bear the tale of the brutal Lelonis far and wide. In the end, this pitiless pirate met a fate almost worse than those he inflicted. Rumour has it that Francois Lelonis was ripped limb from limb while still alive, and his twitching remains were charred to ashes. Number 4. Ned Lowe Ned Lowe took to torture like a fish takes to water making this number 4 pick a true monster of the Seven Seas. Unlike most of the coarse characters on this list, Nedlow's barbarism wasn't just limited to his enemies. He relished setting neutral ships alight and watching the poor souls aboard squirm. Not surprisingly, Lowe's treatment of his rivals was even more fierce and inventive. He was well known for chopping off body parts and casually tossing them out to sea and once sliced off an adversary's lips, fried them up, and fed them to the victim, before slaughtering everyone on board. 
Blow met his demise at the business end of the hangman's noose. A death that many of his victims would find too kind. Number 3. Roche Brasiliano Number 3 is another Spanish hater. Roche Brasiliano spent his entire career exacting revenge on the country which had once jailed and left him for dead. Holding a grudge that would make Francois Leones proud, Brasiliano ruthlessly tortured any Spaniard he came across with maniacal glee. His techniques were both imaginative and stomach churning. Roche Brasiliano would chomp off the limbs of his victims before setting them ablaze. He also skewered his enemies on spits and famously would shoot anyone who declined to have a drink with him. Unlike many other fierce folks on this list, Brasiliano didn't go out in a splatter of well-deserved gore. He sailed off into the history books in 1671 and nobody ever saw him again. Number 2. Francis Spriggs Our pick for number 2, Francis Spriggs, learned his barbaric tactics from the best. Ned Low. The two bloodthirsty fellows apparently had a falling out, and Spriggs landed his own ship, and became more ferocious than his malevolent mentor ever was. Spriggs made Ned Low's torture look positively tame, as this sadistic sailor specialised in mind games, along with physical torture. One of his favourite methods of inflicting misery was called the sweats. Victims would be forced to run in circles around lit candles, while Spriggs and his crew skewered them with anything they'd have on hand. To add insult to injury, survivors of the sweats were forced to eat scalding candle wax after the murderous scramble was over. How did Francis Spriggs die? We'd love to tell you that this tormenting tyrant met a fate befitting of his life, but the truth is that nobody really knows. Like Roche Brasiliano, Spriggs set sail sometime in 1726, never to return again. Number 1. Charles Gibbs The number one most bloodthirsty pirate in history is someone who you've probably never heard of, but we can guarantee you won't forget him anytime soon. Charles Gibbs is the stuff of nightmares. A prolific killer whose zest for torture and maiming was unheard of even among the most calloused and feared of pirates. Gibbs killed over 400 people during his reign of oceanic terror, many in horrific ways. He was especially fond of burning his enemies alive or hacking off their limbs while they were still breathing, taunting them with their severed arms or legs before they finally succumbed to delirium and blood loss. Accounts of Gibbs' cruelty are laced with anecdotes of times where he went out of his way to be exceptionally brutal, almost with a ghoulish glee at meting out punishment. Charles Gibbs met his end at Ellis Island, where he faced the hangman for his countless crimes against humanity. Today, his name is all but forgotten, a morbid footnote in the history books. Do you think you would make a good pirate? Why? Or why not? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.